Well, number one mistake that I see is people going in, you know, business owners going into another business and introducing themselves like, hey, I'm Jeff with such and such boot camp down the street. You know, I have these flyers, you know, do you mind if I put some, you know, in here? And if you have some, I can put them in my gym. That's, you know, most people are going to say, yeah, sure, to go ahead and put them over there just, just to be nice. Um, but as soon as you leave, you're probably going to be tossed into the trash. Or as soon as like the UPS delivery there, the box is going to be set in front of them. Nobody's ever going to talk about it. They're going to collect dust. They're going to sit next to all the other businesses that did the same thing. So you can't go in there asking them to do something for you when you don't even know who they are and you haven't done anything for them. So you have to go you know, with the giving hand first. You got to make it about them. So you know, go in there and introduce yourself. Let them know, like, hey, you know, there's a, a few women, a few women in my bootcamp program that are saying how great your place is, whatever business it is, it could be a hair salon, tanning salon, um, massage therapist, whatever. There's, I have a couple clients that talked about how great your place was. I decided to come and check it out today. Hey, if you have any um, kind of special offer you would like me to offer to my clients, let me know. You know, I, I'll, um, I'll I'll let them know about it because I have 250 other members that would love to come here as well because I can see how great this place is now after talking to you or whatever. So that'd be one way about about do, about how you could go with a giving hand. The other way is you want to find businesses that um, it makes it easy to do business with you. So if you go in to like a hair salon and you talk to the manager and you say, "Hey, I want uh, you know I have this email list and we do like a 14-day fat furnace program. It's forty-seven dollars. If you email it to your list, then I'll give you 100% of the money. You, you know you, you could easily make a thousand bucks and have 20 people sign up." Even though they have a chance of making money, most business owners are going to be a little standoffish about that because it's hard enough for them to make money with their own business, let alone with somebody else's, and they don't want to really want to burn out their email list or their audience with your offers. So you have to frame it differently. So I wouldn't necessarily go to a hair salon with that kind of offer. You want to go with somewhere to you know some kind of business where they need to raise money. So think about like anytime you see you know, kids out doing a car wash or something like that, or kids standing on the side of the road with a five gallon bucket asking for money. They're raising money for like a sports team or it could be like a gymnastics center. So gymnastic centers are really the easiest ones because they're always raising money for uniforms, they're raising money for summer camps, new equipment, you know, all that stuff. So you can go into a gymnastics center and talk to the manager, let them know who you are, that you have this gym, and that you, uh, you see that they raise money for, you know, summer camps, equip new equipment, uniforms, that kind of stuff, and that you have a program that that, um, will help them raise money. And the reason that you're doing it is because you love what they're doing with kids and fitness. You know, childhood obesity is like an epidemic, and you really uh, want to support them and what they're doing to, uh, to solve that problem. And then you let them know we have this 14 day fat furnace program. It's a special offer for friends of XYZ Gymnastics Center. It's $47 for uh, 14 days. We're going to give you 100% of that towards you know, um, equipment, uniforms, and summer camps. That's like a win win for both people. Um, it makes sense to them to be able to email out about that or promote it to, you know, to their customers. Now, the other businesses that don't do that, like a hair salon, chiropractor, massage therapist, other places like that, um, you can still get them to mail out for you. But you have to go there with something that they can get on board with. So if you know that they're involved with a charity, you could say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm raising money for autism. Um, you know, I'm doing this 14-day fat furnace program. You know, I'd love for you to, um, to get involved. And if you can email out, we, we can raise money for autism together. And what I'll also do is that you know, you're going to get, I'll let, you, I'll let people know my email list my Facebook group and Instagram that you're a sponsor of this charity so you're going to get some free you know uh, publicity and you know we can put an offer on there if you like to get you in front of them and on top of that you're going to be raising money for a good cause and then they'll email out hey our friends over at XYZ Bootcamp are doing 14 day fat furnace for autism it's $47 100% of that $47 goes to you know autism uh, research or whatever that it's easier for them to do that than for them to want to make a thousand bucks or whatever they'd rather you know, get on board with the charity event as a sponsor rather than making money for themselves. Um, so go in that way. So that way it looks like you're giving to, you know, um, a charity, which you are, but in return you're going to get a lot of potential uh, customers as well. So just remember, the main thing to remember is just going in with that giving hand, make it a win-win for everyone. Um, frame it in a way to where you're helping them raise money, whether it's for their own business, like in the gymnastics center, or if it's for a charity, like with the other example for with, uh, autism and going into like a hair salon or massage therapist or a chiropractor. And that is the best way to do a joint venture with a local business.